Okay, welcome back. And uh, here's the product package opened. Um, you get the duet unit itself, which is finished in this gorgeous sort of anodized aluminium. First thing I noticed uh, when I opened the box was that it was bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, it's hard to get a sense of the scale of this thing from uh, pictures on the internet, but it actually, you know, fits sort of inside my paw. Um, yeah, it's quite a sizeable unit, and um, it's got these little rubber gel type um, feet on the bottom to cushion it. There it is. I'll do a little, I'll show you a little close up in a minute. Walk around a bit. And uh, you've got your far wire connecting cable there, which is a meter long. You've got your user manual and your software app and drivers and everything. This is the uh, cluster breakout cable that contains um, the two mic XLR sockets, two quarter inch uh, ins and two quarter inch outs, yeah? And um, that connects by this multi-pin connector there to the multi-pin connector on the doer, okay? And then uh, finally, which is quite interesting, inside the packet, uh, inside the box, Apogee have added a couple of quarter inch um, uh, jack to RCA phono adapter plugs which is kind of useful um, obviously the reason is that um, a lot of this is designed to be used with a laptop as well as a desktop and a lot of users uh, because Apogee are not just punting this at the studio user they're also punting this at Mac and um, Mac desktop and laptop users who want a pressed in quality desktop audio in out device as well so um, as a lot of home users use RCA connectors to connect up to their sound system, um, Apogee had the foresight to chuck in a couple of these adapters, which is nice, so the user can be guaranteed to be able to plug it in when they get home. You know, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a clever thought because it costs very little to put these two in, but it's a nice thought, you know, and keeps the consumer happy. Yeah? Well, there's your package. Um, I must say the the cluster breakout cable is very heavy. It's it's all the plugs, you know, you hold the thing in your hand, the whole cluster cable, and it's heavy. These things weigh a lot, you know, they they feel very solid and robust um, and everything like that. So that's what it looks like as a, you know, just showing you the basic package components. Let's um, let's zoom in and have a look at the duet in, and the cluster cable in a bit of closer detail. There she is. As you can see, you've got an indicator lamp for both the uh, both the uh, input channels to independently show phantom power activity on input one and two. You've got a proper quarter inch uh, headphone connector. Okay, as you can see, it's finished in this gorgeous brushed aluminium, sort of anodized aluminium look. There's your multi-pin connector for the cluster breakout cable and the firewire connector. Yeah. And uh, if we look on the top, there we are. You've got this rotary alpha wheel here, which is like made of aluminium. That goes around and around, but this also functions as a button. and these two ladder meters, very very fine little LEDs and they function to show the in or the output depending how you have it configured. Yeah, it's very pretty isn't it? Over here we've got the breakout cable. Okay, here's the two the two mic connectors. What's if I just move the duet outside? What's interesting? What's interesting about this breakout cable is that the 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 mic sockets, the output sockets, and the input sockets are contained on their own sort of cluster, which is held together independently of each other. So they they're not all just a bunch of dangling independent leads and. Um, the output pair of sockets 
they've got this purpley coloured wrap holding them together whereas the two input sockets have got a white plastic wrap holding them together so it's very easy at a glance to distinguish which is the pair of inputs and which is the pair of outputs. Let's just look at these axles. As you can see they're very um, you can't feel the weight of these but they're very chunky very well made sort of Neutrix style you know and each of the uh, each of these inputs has got a input with an old you know, microphone symbol on it. There they are. And then the output uh, quarter inch sockets, these are unbalanced. Um, they are minus 10 dBV line output here. There they are, out, out left and out right. And you can see that each one has got a little speaker icon. They're designed to feed your powered monitors or your amp, what have you. And then the two input quarter inch sockets, uh, these are also unbalanced. In one, in, you've got um, in one. Okay. Oops, a bit of dirt on there. Should clean my bench. Uh, in one and in two, both have a little guitar symbol on you. So um, yeah, and the whole cluster thing is very, very robust. The um, the firewire connector is about a, is a meter in length, you know. And there's the two little converter plugs that are included. Yeah, it's a very pretty object, I must say. And if I just put the camera back on the stand a minute. And the duet itself attaches to the cluster breakout cable with all the connections the connectors on using this socket here, which is like an RGB type socket. Just pushes in like that and you just do up the two two pins there. Just like uh, connecting a screen to a computer. There you go, nice and firmly attached. So there she is. Let's um, connect her up. I'll, uh, it's, I'll read all the books and everything about which uh, which order to do things, you know, because um, sometimes devices like to have the software and drives installed before you connect and stuff like that, and then we'll have a look at it in action.